Today's video is going to be a PvP breakdown on how to deal with squads as a solo player. All of the fights and footage we'll be reviewing for this video were all taken from my Twitch streams. I do stream a lot of Escape from Tarkov if you guys want to check me out, twitch.tv slash ramen style. So when we say solo versus squad, the word squad, we are referring to at least more than one player. So that's two or more players on the same team. I personally play Tarkov mostly as a solo player. It's my favorite style of gameplay and where I have the most fun fun. One of the biggest advantages as a solo player is being able to shoot anything that moves. If there's one thing that kills a lot of squads, it's the classic question. Is that you? It's that moment when two players on the same squad look at each other not knowing if that's an enemy or a teammate. A very classic Tarkov moment. We've all been there. This doesn't happen all the time to 100% of all the teams, but most squads, we can all admit that does happen, even for me when I play with friends. And as a solo player, you get none of that. One of the bigger disadvantages though you have as a solo player versus a squad is that in a bigger team you have multiple eyes ears and multiple guns that's basically more info gathering at a faster pace and more straight up firepower as you break these fights down i want you guys to remember two main things i keep in mind as a solo player number one is isolation i want to isolate each member of the squad and fight them one at a time as much as possible and to be able to isolate them requires good positioning and repositioning and that is the second point i want you guys to keep in mind as we break these down we'll start here in this customs run so i hear multiple footsteps past this fence i'm not sure how many i just know it's more than one guy so it's very important as a solo player to lessen the amount of angles you can get shot from so these stairs right here is a possible angle they could get me from so i'm gonna back up and negate that and pre-aim the closest place they can get me from so that's this blue fence right here i'm gonna pre-aim for a headshot here and just mag dump as soon as i see the first target I took a big risk here and held the same exact angle for the next target. This is really dangerous. Looking back, I should have repositioned right away, which I eventually do. But if I could replay that moment, I would reposition immediately without even thinking. Ideally, you don't want to be in the exact same angle or spot you were spotted in. The guy who died can give his teammates the info on where you were exactly and you can get pre-aimed and possibly killed. So reposition right away and keep them guessing. At this point, I'm still genuinely not sure how many they are. So I'm taking a little bit of a soft approach. I'm not just going to double key at them. I'm trying to get some info here. So I reposition out from the train yard, double back and enter into first floor skeleton. I spot one of them and here I am. I mag dump him. Got him. Remember that last shot with the bush with the bush. The kill shot was that last YOLO shot through the bush. We heard him die so we can confirm that kill, but I'm getting shot by a third player. I end up proning and trying to take an angle on him, trying to take pot shots as soon as I see him pop out. And at this moment, I realize there are two players, so it's actually a four-man. I am in an absolute horrible spot to try to fight two guys, so I try to get up, retreat, double back, reposition, just get out of there, period. I tried to get another angle on him here, but realized it's a bad idea. I don't want to try to out-aim and out-firepower two guys who know exactly where I am. I could easily get pinched or just really shot to death by two guys. At this moment, I realize I'm out of mag, so I gotta repack. And to add to the stress, I hear the two remaining players chasing me down. Because I'm out of bullets, I brought out this hunter that I got from a scav earlier in the raid. I'm not even sure how much bullets are in here or what ammo I'm using. So I just want to get out of there. I don't want to fight him right now. The number one priority at this moment is to repack my mags and reset the fight. So I'm going to do a big retreat okay, here to repack my mags and just gather myself again. Catch my nerves, catch my breath, make sure I'm fully healed the whole nine yards. At this moment, I knew we were playing the long game. I'm going to speed up the video here. We're pretty much just packing all our mags and prepping for... For another round of fighting now that i'm fully packed take note of my reroute here i go all the way back into construction via elbow pass through propanes on the left side and i stick to the left wall here the idea here is just to mix it up like i said earlier i don't want to be predictable taking a different route even a longer route to reposition helps with timing it offsets your timing it makes them think you just left or something and not only that but you also completely come from another angle as we try to re-engage the enemies we want to make sure that as we re-enter the battle we come from an unpredictable angle that right there was actually a crazy one tap i even surprised myself there i dropped him i dropped that guy 
This one we're supposed to be one more. There's one more. So that's three down. And based on the info we have, there should be one more as this is a four man. I'm gonna hold my position here and take advantage of the fact that my SKS is suppressed. And I'm pretty confident that the last guy I just killed has zero clue where the shot where came the from. Team, so I'm gonna hold this angle and just wait for info. Oh, that'll pass. Right there, right there. As I approach this last target, I realized that this is not the fight I want. I don't want to just have a 1v1 aim fight. So I took one shot here just to push him back. And again, like usual, I double back and reposition. I had a good shot on him earlier and like right here right now. But I want a great shot. I want to have a shot where I'm sure that I'm going to kill him. And I'm not going to leave it up to chance. So as we're kind of playing hide and seek here, I'm going to look for a prone angle. So I could take advantage of how proning in Tarkov turns every gun into a laser and knowing that it's only one guy left i just want to have that positional advantage over this guy and just laser him That was a really good fight. A 1v4 GG to those guys. That was super intense, man. And as we discussed at the start of this video, the way I beat this four-man squad was through isolation. I tried to fight them one at a time. In moments where I felt like I was about to get pushed and pinched by two players at once, I do a double back, I retreat and try to reposition, which was our second point. And the whole fight was pretty much that. It was always isolating and repositioning. Isolating, repositioning. We'll move on to another fight, this time in interchange. I hear multiple footsteps, not sure how many exactly they are. One, two. I only see two here, but I do hear three sets of footsteps. First thing you might notice here, I don't take the shot. I'm not trying to get this YOLO headshot from this distance. I'm going to stick to my principles that I mentioned earlier, which is isolation and positioning and repositioning. I'm going to stalk these guys and just follow them based on their footsteps. They are just sprinting hard across Ali, so I am going to engage when I get a jump on one of them and when they're kind of settling in one area. I spot one unaware of here, so I try to mag them and get the kill. Unfortunately, I don't get the kill. I kind of whiff, so instead I throw a flashbang to throw them off. I hear one pushing me really hard, so I prone, get an angle. I'm going to pause the video here for a moment just to talk about how advantageous this position is. I consciously proned under the information desk to my left, so I have cover to my left. For them to kill me, they'll either have to throw a grenade or run past my cover. So I have time here. I can take my time, hold this angle, and if multiple peaks this angle i'm holding it's an easy mag dump proning in tarkov is op i get one so i immediately stand up and reposition it's two guys this is a good sign that they're throwing grenades. That means they have no idea where I am. And wherever the grenade blew up is where they think I am. I take advantage of this and advance to their left side and get a free kill here. One more check. One more. As usual, I immediately reposition right after that engagement. We have one target left. We both know where each other are because of our footsteps. This is straight up a 1v1 fight. I always talk about not trying to get into aim battles a lot as I'm not the most mechanically skilled player, but this is a rare time I went for it. Cheech! The last fight we're going to cover today is in Shoreline. I have a shotgun here against the duo. One has a Mosin, the other an SV-98. Some hard hitting guns here. I'm going to let you guys watch this fight play out with no commentary because it is a very straightforward and short fight, but it shows the two basic principles I like to keep in mind as I fight squads. Isolation and positioning, repositioning. <laughs> Oh my god, we got them both. So just like the previous fights, I fought them one at a time and repositioned to my advantage. GG's all around. I enjoyed breaking these down for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on the video. It helps the channel a lot. And if you guys want more, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to have a conversation with me in the comment section. Any questions, suggestions, feedback, any of that is much appreciated. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope you guys found it useful and I will see you guys on the next one.